Hey everyone, this is my which 6x6 is best video. Um, if you didn't know, there are three main 6x6s out on the market right now. There's the Moyu Weishi GTS, the Chi Wuhua, and the Yuxian Red 6x6. Uh, and I must note, in this video, I am reviewing the Yuxian Red 6x6 with the Yuxian 5x5 springs. You can pick up those springs for about a dollar on the cubicle, and the other two cubes I'm reviewing with their standard springs, which I'm assuming are the best ones, as no one has mentioned otherwise. So, uh, to start it off, you can buy all three of these cubes on the cubicle.us. The Weishi is $29.99, so $30. The Chi is $32, and the Yuxian Red is $29, but you're going to want to spend an extra dollar on spring, so it's $30, which is the same price as the Moyu cube. Um, initially, I need to mention that I am sponsored by Yuxian now, but I spent a lot of time in each of these cubes doing tons of solves on all of them to make sure I knew exactly how each cube performed and fit my turning style and I wanted to make sure I could get each cube to be as fast as possible before making this video. Additionally, I've heard a lot of people like different preferences on the 6x6s now and 6x6 does seem to be now, um, there's no, it seems to be that there's no obvious clear favorite for some people in this, uh, in this category as happens with a lot of the, new, the newer hardware. Um, I know Felix likes the Moyu cube and a lot of people have been talking about the Chi cube so keep that in mind, this is just my personal opinion. However, as uh, kind of the 6x6 guy, I will have to say my final, my true recommendation is that you should really pick up the Yuxian Red 6x6 with the 5x5 springs. Um, this cube is absolutely fantastic. I've been using it for about six, 6 months now, and it really does everything that I could possibly want in a 6x6. Obviously, it can still be a little better as it is not quite as fast as probably the 5x5s out there, but if you're going to be picking up a 6x6, my personal recommendation is to use this cube. Um, so I guess I'll go some more in depth about each of the three cubes. I'll start with the Moyu Weishi cube. So this cube is, fair, is pretty nice. Um, the biggest thing about it is that it's very stable. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to pop or have any real lockups on this cube, but that comes at a very large price. The fact that this cube is pretty tight, even when, no matter what tensions you have it at, this cube this is just the hardware kind of forces it to be a tight cube, especially along with its very large size. It's the largest of the three at um, um, 68 millimeters. Uh, you're really not going to be able to turn this at the high speeds that you may want. I know that Felix uses this cube, which kind of makes sense to me as Felix's turning speed isn't quite as fast as mine. He usually utilizes smoother solves to get similar times. Um, so this cube really just didn't fit my liking though or my turning style. And I really don't think, in my opinion, it's probably the worst out of the three cubes in the market right now. Um, but if you're really looking for something that's like the most stable out there and you really could not care less at all about how fast you're turning, um, this might be a good thing to look at, but I definitely recommend that you try it out first. Um, it's not a bad cube at all. It's certainly better than their, the Aosu or the Aoshi that they produced a couple of years ago, but um, in terms of current hardware, it really just doesn't stack up. Uh, my best average of 12 with this is, I think, about 138 or so, so it's not too bad, but certainly nothing to write home about. Um, next, we have the Chi Wuha 6x6. And at first glance, this cube, I really liked it. Um, the outer layers are very crispy and easy to turn, which is definitely the best part of this cube. The outer layers are pretty phenomenal. The Chi really does, does well with making cubes nice and crispy and easy to turn. Um, the kind of inner layers are okay, but what really, really kills me about this cube and it really just kind of ruins it is that the, the middle layers, the three layers, just are just, they're terrible, honestly. Um, it doesn't happen too often, but you can notice that there's, um, doing a lot of the middle layer, yeah, so doing a lot of middle layer turns really end, leads to just a ridiculous amount of lockups. And while you may think that's only like three or four lockups per solve, that's really three or four lockups too many, especially when any major lockup could cost you a whole second. That's pretty a huge amount of time in an event that only takes a minute and a half. So um, I know a lot of people like this cube. Um, it's smaller than the way sheet. It's only 67 millimeters, which is a better size as 68 and 67, in my opinion, are too large. Um, and it's it's down to the size where the size isn't hindering your performance quite as much. You can certainly tell it's a little too big, but um, especially with me, I have large hands. I can still turn it fairly well, so you might have problems with even smaller hands, but um, you're definitely going to find some good outer layer turning and some middle layer turnings here, but you're really not going to find 
what you're looking for if you're really going for max speed as these middle air turns are really going to trip you up and I that's why I can't recommend this for me. Um, it might fit better for uh, some more newer cubers that don't care much as much about the middle layers, but I really think that uh, the Yuxian Red takes the cake. So now we have the Yuxian Red, which is my main speed cube, and I've been using this for about six months now. It, remember, it does have the Yuxian 5x5 springs, which is absolutely critical, and this cube is absolutely fantastic. It's everything I need in a cube in a 6x6 and turns very well. Um, the main, probably the biggest bonus over the other two cubes is its small size. It is 65 millimeters, which is 2 millimeters smaller than the Chi and 3 smaller than the Moyu. And this is honestly, I think, the ideal size for a 6x6. Um, if you've noticed, a lot of the big cubes have been getting smaller over the years in different hardware iterations, and that's really because smaller is better. Obviously, to a point. I don't think a cube should probably be any smaller than this one, but I think 65 or about 65 millimeters is definitely the best size for a 6x6. Um, the Yuxian does require a little bit of force to turn, probably a little more force than the Chi does on the outer layers, but it's definitely nothing like the Mo Yi, which requires so much force that it feels sluggish. The, uh, the Yuxian cube turns incredibly well, offers great corner cutting and stability, and I really feel like I can turn as fast as I want on it without being held back at all. Um, in terms of pops, they're uh, incredibly rare. Uh, I guess they do happen from very rarely. I don't think I've actually had an official pop on this cube, and I've probably done at least 30 official solves in it. So that's a pretty good record so far. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so this cube, I mean, yeah, this pretty much is my favorite cube on the market. I actually, Felix never actually used one of the Yuxians with Spring Swap. I let him try it at Euros. And uh, he pretty much loved it, which is why I'm, why I'm glad he never picked one up and he went skipped straight over to the Moe cube. But um, yeah, I really think this cube is great. A lot of people uh, have been saying that the Yuxian Red isn't, it's like not, it doesn't quite stack up, but I really think that that's because they didn't quite set those up right. You want to get your five out, Yuxian 5x5 five five springs, uh, swap the springs, and then tighten the cube as tight as you can without making it. Like, it should any tighter and it should be very difficult to turn, and you want it just loose enough so that it still offers some pretty smooth turning without too much force. Um, so yeah, uh, this is my recommendation. You can pick it up on the cubicle.us for $29 plus a dollar for the springs, and yep, uh, yep. <laughs>